We're at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, where tonight the Golden Raiders will host Green Bay East. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is former coach at Lakeland, Howard's Grove, and Sheboygan Falls, Tom Grams. Tom, thanks for coming in and sitting in for Chris tonight. Well, it's a pleasure, Marty. I, my wife and I go to a lot of high school basketball games, and when you called and asked if I could pinch hit for Chris, I thought, oh, this is a great opportunity. I'd be, probably be here or, or at some high school basketball game anyhow. We have a big game tonight. North comes in 8-2. and two. East is six and three. They're only if they could win tonight, they're only going to be a half game out of first place. So, in terms of conference standing, it's a big game. It is a big game. I'm sure both teams are fired up, and you know you're getting to the time of the year when not only the conference championships are on the line, but people are thinking about tournaments. and And I know both of these are two of the top notch teams in the area, so it should be a great game. Now, East had a game canceled earlier in the year against uh, Manitowoc. North has one. They're going to be playing on Monday night against Notre Dame. So the games are starting to pile up at the end of the year. How does that play into, uh, you know, the, with the kids and the conference standing and all that kind of business? Well, as long as everybody is doing the same thing, it's not so bad. I think most coaches tend to cut their practices a little shorter this time of year anyhow. So, And the kids like to play games, and they're young, and they bounce back quick. So I really, as long as everybody's on the same plane, I think it'll be fine. I remember coaching at Chilton when we got late in the season. Jim Eisner would actually give his kids a day off once in a while. Uh, talking about playing the games a little more often, the kids probably don't mind missing a practice or two. No, I'm sure not. And, you know, one of the best coaches in our area ever was, in my mind, was Jack Schneider. And I, I think I learned a lot from him to, to really start cutting down the practices at this time of year. You know, not only physically, but just mentally. You know, you got to keep the kids sharp. And I, I really think that was a, a, a good thing for us. Let's talk a little bit about tonight's game. East comes in, they're probably the most athletic team in the conference and they have good height too in uh, Schumacher and Tinnen. They look like an awful big team and they do look awful athletic, so North will maybe have some trouble matching up with that, but they'll have to play the North strengths. You know, they're pressing and they're outside shooting. You know, you, you try to uh, accentuate your strengths and uh, compensate for what they're gonna try to do against you. North's coming off a big win against South. How does that play into tonight's game? Well, that can be a bit of a factor, you know. You get so high for that North-South game, and, and to win a thrilling game like they did, I'm sure Coach Dustatel has tried to bring them back down to earth a little bit this week and say, hey, the conference title's on the line here. we got to focus on the task at hand. One of the things that I think Coach uh, Desatel always keeps in focus is his team and you know, what they need to do. And uh, he had a scout, uh, Matt Horzen, out scouting uh, East. I think they got three different uh, looks at him. So he's really getting ready for tonight's game against East. Well, I'm sure that's the case, but you know, Tom's coached so long around here, and, and I think he really concentrates on what his team does. You know, if you watched his teams over the years, they pretty much do the same thing all the time. They just do it very, very well. And, you know, certainly you'll make some adjustments for the team that you're playing against, but I'm sure he's going to emphasize to his kids, let's do what we do best and take it from there. One of the guys you're going to have to look out for is uh, Schumacher. He's about a 6'8 six, six, kid, but he shoots a three-pointer. You don't see that much in high school basketball. How do you defense that if you're north? Well, you don't, you know, you don't see a lot of that in high school basketball, but if you're watching college basketball, you know you see a lot of that nowadays where those big kids, Wisconsin's a great example of that. Their kids you know, are post players, but they step outside and shoot the three, and they try to post up their guards inside. So, uh, And you know, the North kids are used to guarding kids all over the floor. North's players have, over the years have been pretty much interchangeable. They play five guys, and they run to almost any spot on the floor. So I think North will be okay over there. All right, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip-off for tonight's ball game. Adopt a child from foster care. Just being there makes all the difference. Pop quiz for you. In what movie did I play a gang leader struggling in school? Who was my teacher? What did I learn in math class? Oh, and here's one about you. What did your kid learn in math class today? Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school and know about your kid. 
Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. The United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Diabetes is a killer. After I was diagnosed, I didn't feel sick, so I didn't listen to my doctor. Then it struck. I had a heart attack, then a stroke, and I was only 49. People with diabetes are two to four times more likely to suffer a stroke than people without diabetes and many who survive are severely disabled. Don't let diabetes destroy your life. Learn how to reduce your risk of stroke. Call for your free diabetes survival guide. Look, my first tooth. Dudley, spit out the toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time you brushed your teeth. And I brush twice a day, every day. Oh, here's that nice dentist, Dr. Benchley. Yep, he showed me how to floss. Why are your teeth blue? I use my mouth guard whenever I play sports to protect my smile. And visit the dentist regularly. Remember, brush twice a day and floss once a day. Parents, there's something you can do to protect your kids from drugs and alcohol. You can buy ground beef with egg, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and spices. Bake in an oven-safe pan at 350 for 50 minutes. Serve hot. This is Jamie Lee Curtis. Children who eat dinner with their families are less likely to smoke, drink, or use drugs. Mm. So, have dinner together every day. Delicious. <laughs> A message from CASA, the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University. Okay. Yep. yep, I remember to turn them up. Back here at North High School, we're getting ready to start the ball game. I think they're going to be having the national anthem in not too long a time. Uh, Tom, this ought to be quite a basketball game. Sheboygan North has, I've mentioned in the opening, a slim lead over Manitowoc. Manitowoc was at that South game, uh, Bruce Christensen and uh, Mark Christensen. Mark Christensen. <laughs> yeah, Bruce. Actually, Bruce and his <laughs> wife run the after school program over at Jefferson. That's where that slipped in. Well, Bruce was probably at the game, too. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. As was Gig and yeah. Todd. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure he was a little deflated when uh, North wound up, you know, pulling and putting it in overtime and then winning. It sounded like it was quite a game. I didn't get to see that. But. Well, they're getting ready for the national anthem, so we're going to uh, be quiet while they do this.
East is coming off a 10 and 11 record last year, but they do have uh, four players returning. Uh, they lost a couple of good ones from last year in Steve Poole and Matt Fisher, but uh, Coach Rich Rozinski has uh, gotten his players uh, doing a good job here this year. Let's go through the starting lineup. Number five, Courtney Brown is a 6'1 junior. Also starting is number 11, Eddie Boyce. He's a six, one, six foot junior. Ben Schumacher, number 21, is a 6'8 junior. Number 31 is Dennis Tinnen. He's a 6'5 senior. And rounding out the starting five is Jim Daffinson. He's a 6'5 senior. As you can see, East comes in quite tall and uh, not very old with three juniors starting. For North, they'll be starting six foot guard Andy Poles, number four. Number five, Derek Deasing is a 6'1 forward senior. Number 25, Tim Schwer is a 6'2 junior. Number 31, TJ Kellner is a 6'3 junior. And rounding out the starting five is 6'4 junior. Number 51, Tom Eirich. And uh, I know I mention this most times when we see North, Tom, but uh, I think it's real important for uh, Eirich to have a nice game. Uh, they like to go to him inside. There's Tom Desitel in his uh, 30th year at, at North. He's got a 490 and 171 one loss record. He's going for win number 491. I just noticed in the paper a little blurb about uh, Jerry Pettigrew. Just got his 700th win. That's <laughs> pretty amazing. Oh, got, my goodness. Got to put he's your been, time in. <laughs> he's been coaching 40 years, 36 Ooh. of them at Cuba City. Cuba City. And they've been good just about every one of those years. So it, it, you'll have to be a <laughs> rack think, up 700 I think it was wins. him. He said he gets them started early when he sees a child born in the, in the paper. You know, he, he makes sure they get a little basketball. That's their first toy. East controls. Taking it hard to the basket and getting fouled was Daffinson. Our official tonight are Chuck Bladehorn and Dave Thiel. Bladehorn underneath the basket with the ball. Foul goes on Deezing. It's a good decision by Daffinson seeing the lane open up and taking it to the hoop and drawing the foul. In that North-South game uh, last week, North hit on 41 of 56 free throws and 20 of those free throws happened in the overtime. Wow. Yeah. Daffinson shows a nice touch, nailing a couple of free throws, and East is on top, two to nothing. North working the perimeter, trying to get it inside. They do Kellner, spin move, leaning, shooting, and he's fouled. And Courtney Ke Brown. Kellner manages to draw the foul, too. Coaches like to see that. Uh, you know, you don't always have to make the shot, but if you can draw that foul, that, you know, gives you a great opportunity to get off the schneid here. One of the benchmarks that they uh, have for teams is when you can make more free throws, pardon me, make more free throws in your opponent's attempt. Take, yeah, and Wisconsin is known for that. They, right. They do that uh, better than anybody. Kellner looking to tie it up, and he does. North in full court pressure. An offensive foul called on Eddie Boyce. Looked Relief. like a good call to me, Marty. Yeah. Actually, I thought he traveled. He did. I think he <laughs> did travel before that, yeah. Should have called that, that, then he wouldn't have got the foul. Yeah, they'd have rather seen that. Eddie Boyce, I believe, is the brother of Harry Boyce, who was an all-conference player a couple years ago. Pulls running the offense on top. Eirich trying to go baseline, can't. Good defense played by Tinnen. Schwer has it on the wing, looking for cutters underneath. Kellner broke open just as he threw the ball out to the point. Good fake, but a block. Tinnen a little too long for Andy Poles. And interestingly, he got Tinnen off his feet, and he, Tinnen was still able to recover and make the block. Schumacher inside the line for a two-pointer. Ben Schumacher. Schwer can't get it in. Daffinson. 
He nails one from the free throw line. Well, they're hot, six to two, East on top. Those shots are coming a little bit too easy though. I don't think Coach Desitel is too excited about that. No. Well, Eirik is gonna get called for traveling. North setting up in their pressure. They gave East problems with it last time, so let's see what they do this time. Yeah, they were able to draw that offensive foul on Boyce. They face guard the guards and don't put anybody on the inbounder. And Trying they force to get a turnover. In. Yeah, Courtney Brown, a little out of control, threw it away. Second turnover on East. Six to two East on top. We're at uh, rolling down to the six minute mark of the first quarter. East uh, applying a lot of pressure on the ball. Good spin move by Tim Schwer. Nice individual move, taking it to the hoop. He's uh, really come on as the season has moved along. There's Tom. that pressure again. See that? Oh, go ahead. That was not a great pass by Schumacher. He should make a bounce pass in that situation, Marty. That, that's why that ball was deflected. If he makes that bounce pass across the lane, his partner's got a, got a layup. We always just say that scoring pass across the lane's got to be a bounce pass. TJ Kellner committed the foul inside to Brown. Daffinson from 10, can't get it. Eirich with the rebound. He's getting back on defense well. And oh, committing wow. the foul is Courtney Brown. That's his second already. Mm -hmm. And the third team foul. And he's going to come out of the game already. Miguel Huerta coming in. Eirich from 14, can't get it in. Tinnen with another rebound. Tinnen is tough on the boards. Daffinson. Ooh, a nice gets, hesitation. Ooh. Yeah, he couldn't finish. Tinnen. Again. Puts it up and in. That's uh, four rebounds for him. He is athletic. T.J. Kellner with a three-pointer. Eight to seven, East on top. Daffinson pushing. Lays it in to Tinnen. I'll tell you, they're just uh, beating North down the floor. Yeah, right? they're, they're getting some pretty good looks inside there. Got to tighten up the defense a little bit. Eirik. Ooh, good move under, by Eric. Yeah, yeah, under pressure, he got it up and in. Nice. Inside feed by Pulls. Good help defense by Pulls to There's cut off trap. the dribbler. Outside shot is no good by Daffinson. North comes away with it. Nice save there by Eric. Schwer, pop back on the shot, can't get it in. East with another rebound. Oh, nice. That was a nice feed. Schumacher with a pass to Tinnen, and he has six points. Nice assist. East is pushing the ball up the court almost as much as North does. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You're right. Schwer. Nice bounce pass there. And off the window, Eirich gets it up and in. Huerta. Pulling up from three-point lane, can't get it in. Tinnen with a rebound. Uh-oh. And reverse layup is in. You could see that opening up there. Ooh, man. He is tough. Deezing. Bango. He can do that. The last North game I saw was against Notre Dame, and he really filled it up that night. 3.08 remaining. We're all tied up at 14. That's a lot of points for five minutes or so gone in the in the game. You're right. Well, they're going up and down the court. Tinnen having a great start. He has eight points and a few rebounds to go with that. that pressure again by North causing East a headache. 
Free. Alex Jordan, Nolan Free, Alex Jordan, and Corey Dodge in the ball game for North. You know, that press doesn't have to force a turnover always either. It just gets you out of your, their offense. Cannon took it right away from yeah. the North defender, put it up and in. He's been the dominant player on the court. He has 10 points in the first quarter. Kellner almost shuffled the feet. Kick it out. He's got a three-point look. Can't get it in. Boyce gets the rebound. Triple teamed. Good pass away. Now they got numbers. There's the bounce pass, but it was behind him. Free almost had it. But coming away with it was Daffinson, and then uh, he threw it out of bounds. Mm. North might have got a break on that call. It looked like, <laughs> looked like a North uh, defender tipped it. But... Uh, Chuck Bladorn didn't see it that way. Got to have that sometimes. 220 remaining and counting. We're tied up at 14. Kellner looking to go one on one. Now oh, it's free in the lane. Shot is up and in, but the foul occurred before the shot happened. Yep. Ball is on Eddie Boyce, and that's his second foul. That's why you like to see your team take the ball to the hoop. You know, you can get that other team in foul trouble. You know, you get a couple of their starters on the bench already with uh, only six minutes gone in the game. That's kind of a nice thing. Gajewski in the ball game. Number three in for Boyce. Kellner, a 13 footer off the window and in. He has seven points. Nice he shot off the glass. Uh oh. <laughs> and a good call. Ooh. Where to let the harm go out, and he actually pushed the North defender down. We were fortunate with that one because he had somebody wide open under the basket. If he could have got the ball ahead to him, it would have been two points for East. But as it turns out, the defender took the charge and forced the turnover. Three turnovers for East in the first quarter. Got North down for one. Inside feed to Dodge. Tipped away. And before the action got too hot and heavy, we had a jump ball called. Officials having a little talk with the East coach. Yeah, Rich Rosinski, he's in his fifth year. And they always say it takes what, about three, four years before your team really gets you know, into the system and know what you want to do. And that's where East is right now. Kellner coming off a double screen, going hard to the hoop, and he's fouled. Another foul drawn by the Raiders. Gajewski committing the foul, and Kellner will be at the line shooting a pair. That's the old equalizer, eh, Tom? You Take it to you. the hoop and draw the fouls. And, you know, East has already got six fouls in this game, and it's, we're barely over halfway through the first quarter. Uh, that catches up with you later on. They may be in the bonus before the end of this quarter. There's 144 left. North's only been whistled for two fouls. North applying the press again. Daffinson breaking the press. Gets around free. Too much dribbling there. Yeah, went right into the teeth of the North defense, but he did draw the foul on Dodge. He was fortunate there, Marty. He dribbled into a lot of traffic, and uh, it was lucky that, uh, that he was able to draw the foul. And they call it a shooting foul, too. Oh, wow. Never thought that. Well, well, he made his only two free or his first two attempts earlier in the quarter. And he got the nice roll on that one. Well, I saw Big John walk in the house. Big John Sanellis? Yep. I don't know where he's sitting though. Maybe Brian will find him. There he is, right done. behind the official over there. See him in the first row? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One well, best players ever to come out of Sheboygan. East on top. They got it down as uh, oh, they're clicking her back. They had it 32 to 16. I thought <laughs> I it would be a lot of points for the first quarter. <laughs> 18 to 17, East on top. Inside feed to uh, Eirich. Throws it up there, can't get it in. Tinnen with another board. Did you see how high he was up there that time? 
Higher than Eirik. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Almost. lazy pass there. Herto kicks it out to Daffinson. His shot is no good, but no block out by North, and he comes away with it. Nice Inside to Tinnen who lays it in. He has 12 points in the quarter. But Daffinson made that play with his penetration and dishing off. Alex Jordan off the glass and in. Twenty to nineteen, under thirty seconds remaining. Tinnen almost had it stolen, but he kept control. Daffinson, nice feed inside, off the glass and in. Gajewski, good teamwork. I am impressed with Daffinson. He dribbles a little bit too much, but uh, he really does a nice job looking for his teammates. Alex Jordan, right to the basket, and lays it in. Here's North's press again. Five seconds left. Herta. Inside to Tinnen, shot is no good. I think Eric got away with a foul on a, at the end of the quarter, but we're at the end of one. East on top, 22-21. Good, exciting quarter of basketball. Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you want to get ahead. No, no, buns. And oh, CDs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a balance. Oh, you know, you uh, stick it under the mattress. <laughs> you want you getting it. plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. Salam. Yeah. Salam. Hey, you want? We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs are making it happen. Through international scholarships for young people to promote peace and understanding around the world. Rotary. Humanity in motion. High school, we were just looking at the shooting percentages. I've got North 8 for 12 and East 9 for 13, and uh, they've been putting the ball in a hole. You think that was good shooting or bad defense, Marty? Actually, I think it was some bad defense on North's part because East uh, you know, broke open a couple of times on their fast break. On transition, yeah. And uh, actually, it was probably more good good rebounding by Tinnen. Boy, he had he, six of those baskets. He and Davinson really look like nice players. Here's Schumacher from that side. Schumacher, you got to cover him up. He's a three-point shooter. That's what we had said in the pregame, and he showed it there. Kellner, he comes right back with a three-pointer. North likes to get in shooting contests with people, so if they want to do that, it should be playing into their hands. Is that Grinnell that likes to do that? Oh. 114 points a game there. Averaging. Schumacher again, uh -oh. around and down. Get the calculator out, Marty. Gajewski, pardon me, that was a nice pass by number 22. We don't have on our... Here's another one. No good Ooh, by and Kilmer. And is up there again. Yeah, Schwer missed that one. It's important for North to score because they can get their, their press on a lot easier if they're scoring. Gajewski, no good. Good block out by Eric. Kept Tinnen off the board. North with a rebound. Nolan free. Nothing but the bottom of the net. See, now they have time to set their press up. Schumacher was open but didn't take it. Gives it up to Huerta who can't get it in. North on a bit of a bust out, but uh, East has four players back. Looks like they're in a zone, huh, Tom? Yep. Free left open for a little bit, but he couldn't get it in. Another rebound for Tinnen. 28-27, East on top. North is playing that 1 3 1 now, too, Marty. Timeout by East. 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it here. You know, what's the timeout all about, Tom? Well, maybe because North went into that zone, maybe we want to talk about how they attacked it uh, there. Uh, 
And one three one zone, you know, a lot of people are using one three one. I think that's maybe the most popular zone out there now. Uh, when you were a coach, you know, and you, I know you had some really good players. Maybe this isn't a fair question to ask, but did your players have trouble recognizing zone versus man to man and, and being able to set up? Uh, I think sometimes they recognize it uh, right away, but sometimes they're just so used to what they've been running in their man to man offense. Or they, it takes them a while to get in rhythm against a, a new defensive set. A lot of coaches will, will alternate defenses, too. They'll change them up after a timeout. Now, Coach Dustell might come out man-to-man because -man he knows that probably East is talking about their zone offense. But sometimes you give a team a, a zone look and actually are matching up man-to-man, -to -man too. Well, let's see what happens. It looks like a 1-3-1 one, one like right now. they're still in their zone. Notice he's bringing his wings out way, way high to uh, put pressure on the ball. It's not a real passive zone. Daffinson, jump shot inside the line, is in. I'll tell you, they keep shooting like this. Yeah, both teams are filling it up. Pulls back in the ball game. Kellner from way outside, wow. and he nailed it. NBA three. That was 30 to 30. 520 remaining until halftime. Quick pass over to Herta. He's double teamed. Gets it over to Tinnen for a 10 footer. Follows his shot. Puts it up and in. Foul called. I don't know. Well, they called it on number 31. East, on yes. Tinnen. And uh, he waved the basket off? I think he did, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> I think Dennis uh, Tinnen, that's only his first foul, but it is going to put North. Referee Bladarn is going to talk to the other official. I, I wonder if. They may they not be shooting. For, they're in the bonus. You know, they have seven fouls, but uh, if it's an offensive foul, then they don't shoot. I wonder if they're going to be counting this basket. Yeah, that's, I thought that might be the case. But North is going to get a chance to shoot. Right. They? No, they will get a chance to shoot. Tit for tat. And it'll be uh, T.J. Kellner. Kellner was three for four in the first quarter at the free throw line. He's got a smooth stroke. Yeah. North's always had a lot of good shooters. North tight. takes the pressure off now, Marty. Yeah, well, they're going to go on a little more. Now they're trapping on the half court out of their 1-3-1. One, See how the wing's coming up now? All tied at 32. East has to look to reverse it against this, and they Puerta. do. And they he get the open it. look on the weak side. Well, I'll tell you, if they're going to get all their guys shooting like they are tonight, it's going to be an awfully tough job for North to try and win this game. I thought they had a pretty good shot with Huerta shooting, but uh, he just drained it. Yeah, he hasn't looked that good shooting it up until that shot. Kellner shot rims off. Let's see what North does defensively. Same thing, 1-3-1 one, one half court trap. Erta wanted to shoot it, but good cover up defense. And then Free tips it out of bounds. What you like to do against the trapping zone defense like this is try to get the ball into the center and have that postman look to the weak side and you know catch that defense before it shifts over there and you get either that open jump shot or you know, with the, do what they call reposting it then the guy in the wing gives it back to that postman sliding down the lane north's hoping to trap and, and prevent those kind of passes schumacher has it gets around kellner kicks it out to daffinson he misses it north with the rebound Bulls had a look, dumped it into uh, Dodge, but uh, turned it over. A little crowded in there. Daffinson has it on top. He's been a good player tonight. Huerta, that time he had time, and he wow. nails another one. He has no conscience on that. He knew he was going to shoot that before he had the ball in his hand. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't quite quick enough the time before. He thought that time I'll be quick enough. Schwer. Goes right around Daffinson. Tried to kick it into uh, Dodge, and then it was kicked out of bounds. 
I don't know about that call. You know, that might have even won up a little bit. Jordan and Eirich come on back in for North. East Tin leads at 38-32. Tinnen was a little bit intimidating inside that time. Did you notice? I think, uh, yeah. you know, people were looking around to see where he was. North pulls the 1-3-1 uh, one, one back a little bit, and they cause a turnover. See, East tried to go right inside from the wing on that. I, you know, I, that's pretty tough to do against that trap. I think you've got to go to the high post and then reverse it before you go inside. Kellner down the lane. Down the lane. Or as I like to say, right down 8th Street. <laughs> now that they've reopened it. Yeah, really. 38-34, <laughs> East on top. There's the high post, man. Erta. But that isn't what you had in mind. That's not no, That's not what I would be having him do against it. Erta. Oh, oh man. And he got knocked down after the shot. Jordan fouled on the way to the basket. But North pushing the ball up in transition, draws the foul. That's a big one, Tom. It goes on Dennis Tinnen, oh, his second. That is a big foul. They got to take him out now. They don't want him to pick up that third before the end of the half. That's 18 fouls on East and only three on the Raiders. Coming in is uh, Ben Wiegand. More important than uh, North getting these free throws might be the getting Tinnen out of the game. Yeah, really. It's 41 to 34, East up by seven. They've just been uh, lighting it up. I've got them for only one miss in the entire quarter. Now Jordan North is back to their pressure again, Marty. Man-to-man -man pressure. They try to double the ball in the backcourt. Daffinson. Ooh, almost, almost threw it away. Good one. save by Huerta. Schumacher. Shot is no good. Good pressure defense by Alex Jordan. I think it might have been deflected a little bit by Jordan. Kellner. Wow. Had his shot blocked. Strip. Daffinson spins. Can't get the rebound. Gajewski can't get it in. Kellner gets the board. Now we get a foul on Huerta. And with North in the bonus and only one foul away from the double bonus, they'll go down and shoot. It's a poor decision making that time by East. They had some numbers and they forced some bad shots. You know, you like to see them be aggressive, but uh, you got to be smart too. Steve Lacey in the game for North. Nolan Free going to the line. Good-looking player. I should look back. I don't have my numbers out, but he was like uh, 16 for 17 or 14 for 15 in that north-south game from the free throw line. He had like eight in a row in the overtime. Eirich couldn't get the offensive rebound. East comes away with it. 41-36 East. Wiegand getting position inside. Affinson, a lot of dribbling like you mentioned. Huertano, gliding mm. shot down the lane. He's got 11 in the quarter. And he did not start this game. He came off the bench when Boyce got in foul trouble. So maybe that foul situation didn't work out so great. No. Kellner's shot is no good. East comes away with the rebound. Ooh. Now I got the trap in the corner. East has got to look to reverse it. Schumacher, his shot is no good. And East comes away with it. Yeah, just They're hustling a little bit yeah, more than the Northsiders. There's their trap. Oh. And foul goes on North. On free, I think. Yep. But North is still not, or East is not in the bonus yet. That's only the fourth foul on North, so it'll be ball out on the side. Tim Schwer comes in. Daffinson has it on top, being guarded by Kellner. A runner down the lane is no good. Eirich with the b-ball, no. North looking for transition baskets. Now we'll set it up. So East is in a zone. Lacey off the glass and in. Nice drive that time. Took it right at the defense. 
Could have got a foul called on that too. Yeah, it's pretty close. Here's your trap. And over yeah. and back. That's where you like to trap them, right across that 10 second line. That 10 second line serves as another defender. I noticed this a uh, couple of games ago when we did a North game. Matter of fact, it, it happened in the North-South game too. When that dribbler turns his back on that second defender, he runs over and they force him to turn back into the double team and that's what happened there. Yeah. North did a great job that time. Kellner turns and shoots and well, he's that, got it. And that was bad defense by East. They just let him run clear through that lane. You know, there was no bumping, nothing going on there. 43, good steal by Eric North has 43-40. We're rolling down to 10 seconds remaining until halftime. And, and a foul on Huerta. Huerta better settle down. Referee doesn't like the antics. North's in the double bonus. And that's three on Huerta who's been hot. So you got Tinnen and Boyce and Huerta all in foul trouble. Elner at the line again. Just 10 seconds left in the half, so. It looks like East will get the last shot of the half unless uh, North can force a turnover here. Tim Cullen is number 22, Tom. He switched numbers. He was number 13 in the program. Rolls off, no good. 10 seconds, a lot of time here for East to get the last shot. Daffinson, he's smooth. Wow. Not a surprise that they'd go to him with those other guys out of the game. Shot would have been no good anyway. We're at halftime. North trails East, 45-41. Lots of points. facilities, some protected by just a chain link fence. Terrorists are trying to steal these materials to make a nuclear bomb and attack us here. We need to stop them at the source by locking down the materials. There is something you can do to protect America. Visit saferworld.org. Be part of stopping a catastrophe before it happens. What do triglycerides or trigs have to do to get noticed? Normal triglycerides are below 150. High triglycerides increase your risk of heart disease. And if you're a woman, that risk goes up even more. After standing in the shadows of good and bad cholesterol, triglyceride, also known as the forgotten fat, is ready to share the spotlight and the attention. Remember to ask your doctor about the good, the bad, and the forgotten fat. And remember, normal triglycerides are under 150. This message brought to you by Sister to Sister, working together for healthy hearts.
the banana. This is a cat. This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. The most dangerous thing our kids have to deal with today isn't violence. It isn't drugs. It's unhealthy food. Too many of our kids are overweight. They're headed for diabetes, heart problems, or worse. They need to eat healthy things like vegetables, fruits, high fiber vegetarian foods. As our kids grow, the right foods can help protect them from obesity, heart problems, diabetes, and even cancer. To find out more, call for a free booklet or visit our website, kidsgethealthy.org. One day, you were simply struggling to be a dad. The next, you're coping with a diagnosis of childhood cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. We're back at half at halftime here at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Green Bay East leads it 45 to 41. Uh, let's go through some of the scoring. Uh, East had some great uh, balance in their scoring. They had this Dennis Tinnen with 14 points. He uh, had to leave late in the second quarter with some foul problems. Jim Daffinson uh, starting forward had 10 points and really looked outstanding. But the guy that really made the difference, Tom, the X factor was Miguel Huerta, who had 11 points in the second quarter and uh, hit three big three-point baskets. And uh, he really picked them up when they needed to be picked up. For North, it was basically a one-man show. T.J. Kellner with 21 points in the first half. He was awful tough. And a lot of those in the second quarter when uh, North was kind of hanging in there with, uh, you know, Take, responding to the uh, spurge that uh, Huerta had put on him. Huerta just came in and lit it up off of the bench. So should be a great second half. I had Huerta making uh, four out of six shots and uh, most of those came in the second quarter. He had three three-pointers right in a row. And uh, <laughs> you mentioned it the one time he caught the ball and he knew he was going to shoot it before he caught it. Mm -hmm. And he drained it. And uh, I think part of that was the product the time before when he caught it. He wasn't quite sure, and North defense was able to react to him. And uh, but anyway, I was mentioning to you earlier, Marty, that I was at the Duke Florida State game last Sunday. You know, fortunate only enough to see a game like that. My son works there, and they retired the jersey that night of J.J. Redick. Oh and wow! I, and he was, was just in Milwaukee, I think, the other day. You know, you think about guys that would be shooting before. <laughs> you know, yeah. they, they knew they were going to fire it up uh, long before they crossed half court. Here we go. Starting second half action. I'll tell you the way uh, East shot the ball. North is fortunate to only be down four. East in the zone in inside the Kellner. Get out of the lane, TJ. Andy Poles with his first three point attempt of the game. Kellner with a strong rebound. Ooh. Put it up, but can't get it. And Tinnen picks up his third foul. What a big play that is. I'm sure. Uh, East coach is thinking that would be the worst thing that he'd want to see happen on the first possession of the second half. Well, we mentioned that, uh, we mentioned throughout the first half that Falls played a part, uh, keeping some of those starters out for East, and now Tinnen picks up his third within 25 seconds of the start of the second half. Kellner's high this year, Tom, is 35 points. He's well on his way to uh, maybe achieving that tonight. He has 22 now. Sometimes you just get in, in the groove and you feel it and you, you start hunting your shot. He's hunting his free throws. He's made uh, eight out of 10. North in there, one, three, one, Marty. Let's see if they're gonna trap out of it. Now they're staying back to start with. He's looking to reverse the ball. And they do have a high postman now. Stolen away by Kellner. Kellner's length that time helped him. Deezing, looked like he got bumped on the yeah. shot, no call. Yeah, I think that was deflected. 
Baffinson showing a lot of ability to put the ball on the floor. Ball off the hands of Schumacher, out of bounds. That 1-3-1 one, one is causing East some problems. Well, you know what it looks like? It looks like they're not attacking it. They're yeah, really they're content just to just keep it out. Passing around the perimeter. Skip pass over to Schwery, gets around Schumacher. Nice penetration. And man. lays it in. Tim Schwery. ball game. <laughs> he had to lay it out there and flip it up because Tinnen would have knocked it away otherwise. Inside to Tinnen. Ooh, that could have been four on Tinnen there. Missed the shot. Rebound goes to Kellner. Looked like he lowered his shoulder a little bit, didn't it, Marty? Well, I they, thought he did for sure. They usually call that an offensive foul if they see that shoulder go down. Tim Schwer on a cut down the lane. Gets a nice basket off a great pass from Tom Eirich. And East calls a timeout. It's a full timeout. With 6.13 remaining in the third quarter. North on top now, 47-45. We'll be right back. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. Shots and... You would have thought the lead would be bigger than four points, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But, but uh, Kellner kept him in. He was lighting it up, so... We're back here at uh, the Acuity Fieldhouse. Uh, Mike Martin along with Tom Grams. Again, Tom, uh, thanks for stopping in. Bucky Huffman there on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and my bride there, too, Marty. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the North has come out and scored six quick points here to start the second half and take the lead. Well, I think, you know, if East wants to lay back against uh, the North zone in terms of attacking, it's important that uh, North have the lead then. Yeah, I think you were right in saying that East was looking a little tentative against that zone. I think it was a good timeout by Coach. And if you got Tinnen way out there in the corner, that's the North's advantage. Eddie Boyce, no good. Schwer hustling for the rebound. Oh, they leave him alone, and he's open for a three-pointer, and he nails it. Not good defense there. No, you don't want to release on the man with the ball, especially somebody that can shoot it. Daffinson looking, looking. Schumacher under pressure from Poles. His shot is no good. Eirich with a rebound. That shot was an afterthought. And you like to have their team shoot those shots so they, they aren't in rhythm. Kellner into the free throw lane. They got him the ball and he shot it up and in. I think Norris attacking of the zone is just what you talked about in the first half, Tom. Well, get into the high post and fan it out, but that time he had the wide open shot. 11 straight points for North to open the half. Eddie Boyce breaks the string with a three-pointer. It's 52-48 North on top. See? East in a zone. East is in that 2-3 zone. Boyce knocked it away from Kellner, but uh, Schwer right there to recover it. Kellner yeah. commits the offensive foul. Yeah, and it was a good call. Wasn't it? Coming is uh, Matt Gajewski. It's interesting the differences in the zone with East playing that 2-3 and North in that 1-3-1. You know, in the 2-3, you don't have a point defender out there. In the 1-3-1, you do. Having a guy with long arms like Kellner makes it hard to oh, reverse the ball. That's a great uh, thing to have in the 1-3-1 zone. He yeah. gets in that passing lane and stops that ball reversal. Daffinson's three-point attempt is no good. Adam's friendship is probably the best team at playing 1-3-1 zone in the state. They're known for it, and they always have a big guy up there on the point. Kellner lost the ball on the way through the lane, and East turns it right back over. Turnover in transition. They're not scoring quite at the rate they were scoring in the first half. At least East isn't. They've only had two points, now, or a three-pointer, excuse well, me, a three-pointer in the first four minutes of the second half. 
And they were just lighting it up oh. in the first half. I had them, uh, this probably isn't correct, but 18 for 27, which would be 67%. Uh, I don't know if it was quite that good, but uh, it was well over 50%. Kellner has it taken away from him by Tinnen. Fast break attempt. And a layup shot by uh, Boyce is no good, but he's fouled. Good hard foul, prevented the layup. Uh, Boyce took a little bit of offense to it, uh, but it was a good clean play. Especially if our guys are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> if they do it, it's dirty play. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheap shot. Interesting free throw form there. You see, watch this to see if he dips the ball again so low and almost touches the ground with it before he shoots it. Yep, pretty far down there. But he dropped that one in. It's 52 49. East Nolf score has scored the last four points after North ran off 11 in a row. Nolan Free left open off a nice pass from Eirich. There's that inside-outside action. Yeah. It's a little bit different going against the 2-3 than it is against the 1-3-1, but you still like to have the ball touch the post before you just cast one up from the perimeter. Boyce, his glasses is off, and Tinnen with a nice rebound. Kept Schwer away from it. Brown, no good. Tinnen, yes. That was an air ball that Tinnen was just in the right spot at the right time for that one. The reason you li like to have that ball go into the post, Marty, of course, is that it collapses the defense around the post, and then the post guy can kick it out, and then the perimeter guys will be a little bit more open than they were originally. When we uh, saw South play, not in the North-South game, but the game before that, they played Notre Dame, they made a... A lot of passes like that. They'd get it inside to uh, Schwartz or Lancer, uh, one of their big guys, and then kick it out. Over and back called on North. Jordan thought it was tipped by uh, East player, but... Uh, Coach Desitel thought so, too. I think it was, actually. It touched by... I don't know if... Well, maybe they'll consult with uh, his partner. No. I don't think he's going to change the call. And he's not going to ask his partner either. We'd show him the replay, but the replay machine is broke. Boyce lost it. East comes away with it, however. And they get it inside to Tinnen. He spins and lays it in. That's where I would go if I were East. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'd get it into him. Pretty much money in the bank. Keller inside to Eirik for an easy two. A high low action against that post one or against that zone excuse me one postman to the other and that is very effective you get passing like that. Well we, I mentioned before you know Kellner's the whole package and part of that is passing he showed it there. Shot from outside the lane is good outside the three point line pardon me is good by Eddie Boyce. Now what have we got going on here. Official talking to Tin, and I think maybe I don't know if he knocked the ball after it went through the basket. And that's uh, one way to stop the break. Yeah. <laughs> but sir, it was just an accident. <laughs> We've all done it, haven't we? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to be somewhere near the ball, Tom, <laughs> to do it. Some Allison, maybe, but not me. <laughs> right, North on top, 57-56. East making a bit of a comeback. We're under two minutes left in the quarter. Schwer around Schumacher. Nice. Puts it in to Lacey, his shot oh. is blocked. Eirich off the window, up and in. I thought there was gonna be a call, a uh, foul call before that basket. Yeah, Lacey looked like he got hit pretty hard. Daffinson over to Schumacher. Eddie Boyce feeling it. Tinnen, 
Yeah. Up and in and he's fouled. He is a problem in there, Marty. Ooh. It's almost like you gotta give up a reboner and just assign him Tinnin and try to knock him away from the ball. You know, that's kind of that old Al McGuire philosophy against the zone. What do you do? You get a big rebounder like that, you put him in, in, on inside and you just tell your guys to shoot uh, against that zone and let him get the rebound. Hey, you know, in. I remember years ago uh, working for the Howard's Grove Athletic Club when he used to have that adult tournament. Yeah, and yeah. He came down and one time he had Gary Rosenberger and Bob Wolf on one team and everybody else just ran around the basket and rebounded for those guys. Yeah. Tinnin didn't look so good from the free throw line there. Maybe we ought to follow him some more. I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Norris still up one. Jordan Pressure. loses the ball. And no call on there. I'll tell you, Kellner's got three fouls, Tom. He picked up the last fall, and Diesing threw it away. Boyce Whoa. short arms it, and then it goes off. And An east defender. I no, I guess he didn't call a foul. He just no. called. He, Tinnin got away with one oh, there. Yeah. And we might have got away with one before that. <laughs> so they evened out. I'm sure East should be coming there thanking their lucky stars that Tinnin didn't pick up number four there. All right, there's exactly one minute and counting in the quarter. North up by one. East has uh, played very tough here in the third quarter after allowing North to run off 11 points. Schwer Travel. travels. If you notice the high post man on North's offense, he looks immediately down low to the low post man against that 2-3 zone. North continues in a 1-3-1 zone. Right, bringing extending it, up. it, yeah. Just across the 10 second line, here comes the trap. Schumacher inside to Tinnin who lays it up and in. East has gotten the message, get it to number 31. And Boyce can cause some problems out on the perimeter too. Defensively, he's quick. Free, left free, and he nails a three-pointer. That's a big North answer. back on top by two. Under 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. 62-60. Corey Dodge fronting the high post. Daffinson, no good. Tinnin cleans up. Free at the buzzer, can't get it in. At the end of three quarters of play, we're all tied up at 62. We've got a barn burner going here at a cutie field. If you give me a fish. If you give someone a fish. You feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. Feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. Back at North High School's Acuity Field, I was just going over uh, some of the statistics. Uh, Dennis Tinnon had 14 points in the first half. He tacked on another 10 in that quarter, and you know, he now has 24. T.J. Kellner leads uh, North and all scores with 25. He had four in the quarter, uh, but he did some good job, good work at the free throw line, you know, on the offense with uh, the high post passing. And Both teams, Marty, were attacking the zones much better in the latter part of that third quarter than they were early on. I'll tell you, it's uh, been a very entertaining game, up and down action. A great game, 62-62 going into the fourth quarter. Daffinson had a good first quarter. He's gonna toss the ball in bounds. He didn't have anything in the third quarter. The guy that lit it up for East was Eddie Boyce. He had seven points in the third quarter. He had nothing in the entire first half. And that Huerta, who was so tough in the second quarter, I don't think he got off the bench. In the He's in there now. There he is now. Shot is no good, and over the back is number 21, Ben Schumacher. That's uh, his first foul, Tom, but, uh, and it's only the third team foul on East, so they've cleaned up their act from the yep. first half. Uh, pulls Kellner, Free, Eirich, and Schwer in for North. Look at it. East is in a 1-3-1 now, and trapping. And he pulls open. Shot is no good. Who else but Tinnin with the rebound? And he was up there that time. 
And he's awfully long, long legs, long arms, and he jumps. Huerta hanging out on the baseline. Schumacher, way short. Tinnen with a takedown to Eirik, no call, but North comes away with it. That was not a good shot by Schumacher. He wasn't open, he wasn't in rhythm. Way out is pulls out, wasn't a good a shot either. Shot. Eirik kept it alive and North gets it back. Free open, his shot is no good, and we get a whistle underneath. One of the things, Marty, when you take shots from that far out, a lot of times you get a long rebound. You notice how long both of those last two rebounds came, and, and, and in the first case, uh, North got the rebound because East had all the players underneath the basket where you normally would expect the rebound to go. Well, Cole's being rewarded for his bad shot with some time on the bench. I'll tell you, he was, that would have been the longest made basket of the night, probably, if that would have went in. Tinnen had the ball knocked away, mm -hmm. but it went right to Boyce. Boyce inside the free throw lane, hits a 12-footer. That was a tough shot. There was uh, good defense. He was not exactly open on that shot. Did rise up above the crowd. He's up by two, 64-62. Both teams are much more aggressive in their zones now than they were earlier. Eirik's shot is blocked, bust out. Boyce missed the layup. He kind of hot dog that one a little bit, Marty, didn't he? he got tried to get fancy. His wow. Coach isn't too happy with that. No. North caught a break there. And uh, I don't know what the whistle is about. Stoppage in play here. Official. He pointed at himself. There must have been an, an equipment or. Maybe he thought he heard some, a timeout. Or some blood or something that he thought he saw. All right, North has it back. We're under six minutes. They're down two. Free. Had a good look at the hoop, but couldn't get it in. Yeah, that was a nice try. That's a good shot. East has it, and they have the lead. North continues in the 1-3-1. See how Kellner is preventing them from reversing that ball or trying to? He's long, and he can do that. Huerta. Like Huerta. No good, and we got a foul underneath. I think this is on Tinnen. Yes, I believe it is. And that would be four on him. It is a foul on Dennis Tinnen, and it is his fourth. I can't imagine you're going to pull him out with 528, though. Well, you might want to give him a minute or two just to catch his breath so he doesn't get a, a quick foul just because he's tired. And they, they're doing just that. We'll take but, a little break. But he won't be out too long, I no. don't think. Boy, East is running their, oh. East was running their uh, Schumacher, who was playing the middle there for Tinnen. He was going all the way out in the wing. You can't do that with your post man on defense. That well, they got a away with it. They so. did, but the coach was yelling at him pretty quickly. 64-62, East on top. And North down. and a man to man. Rolling down to five minutes. Brown. Over to Huerta. They got a three guard offense on the floor right now. Schumacher and uh, Daffinson. You think North maybe went to the man to man with Tinnen out of the game now? Maybe yeah, thinking that that's, maybe that's it. I would think so. Ball goes on Alex Jordan. Fifth team fall on North. East only with four. Huerta down the lane, shot is blocked by T.J. Kellner. Wow, didn't see many blocks by him. Well, he, got right, you know, he got it from the weak side or, you know, that was not his man that he was covering. That's where most of his blocks come from, from the help defense. Brown had an opening and uh, decided not to shoot it. Daffinson in the lane, pull up, 
Can't get it in. Schwerer with the rebound. North made him take a tough shot that time. Kellner from outside the line. Can't get it. Rhythm bounce by oh. Eirich, and he can't get it in. Boy, Did the right thing, but he just bet. couldn't finish. It was a nice rebound, and he just couldn't put it down. Boyce has it on top, 11 guarding 11. <laughs> we got that on TV8. A little between the leg dribble. East looks like a different team without Tinnan in there. Well, we got a foul Ooh. called on Jordan. That's a sixth team foul on North. On the next one, the East will be in the bonus. Coming in is going to be Derek Deasing. Deasing gives them a little more height and a little more outside shooting. Four under four minutes now. East on top, 64-62. The score is not changing over a minute, almost two minutes now. Schumacher lost it, but East gets it back. Could have been a travel there. Brown right down the lane, lays it up and in. Boy, he got up on that layup, he did. Tom. He did. Deasing open on the wing, well, get him the answer. ball. Here's a shot. Rolls it in, Derek Deasing. A big shot by Deasing. His second three-pointer. And a turnover. The East player stepped over the line on the inbounds pass. Wow, we. North is down one, 3.30 remaining in the game, but they do have the ball back. What a big change in momentum that is. I'll big tell you, it took a long time to get the ball to Deasing. He was open for a long time. Didn't take him very long to get it off, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> a good thing, too. Eirich right down the lane. Oh, missed a layup. Geez, that's two in a row. Had another great look at it. Boyce. North is trapping out there. They're doubling out of their man-to-man -man now. Brown being guarded oh. by Deasing, and he threw it out of bounds. That's the pressure defense that forced East to turn it over. I was just going to say, I almost think the matchup of uh, Deasing and Brown is an advantage for East because Brown's a pretty quick player. I would think they'd be getting Tinnan back in, and looking down there, that's what he's doing. And, and you know, he might not have come in if, it, if North hadn't called that timeout. You might want to think that over and say, hey, I'm gonna, I'd rather play with him off of the court. Our next ball game is going to be next Friday, and we're going to be right back here at Sheboygan North High School when uh, the Raiders host Green Bay Preble. And uh, then our last game of the year, Tom, is going to be at Sheboygan South when they host uh, Green Bay West. And uh, we're waiting to find out about the pairings and, and all that kind of thing for tournament play. I think we're going to be doing some tournament games this year. And uh, be nice to see another North-South matchup in the tournaments, wouldn't it, after well, those first two games? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And I uh, missed that second game, as I told you. you know, I was <laughs> I was in Florida on a little vacation there. and you know, Only for uh, a month? Yeah, well, well a month, you know. <laughs> but I was going to say, you know, another North-South matchup might be on the girls' side, too, oh, because yeah. uh, mm -hmm. North High girls are highly ranked in the state. They've got an excellent game, excellent team. And another city team that's uh, ranked, I think, about seven or eight in the state is uh, Sheboygan Christian in Division Four, I believe it is. They've got a real nice team, and uh, we've seen them play twice. And of course, Oostburg area team. That, well, we wouldn't cover them simply because they're not in our viewing right, area. Right, but I, I mean, in terms of an area team that would have high hopes for the yeah, tournament for advancement, yeah. both Oostburg girls and boys. Yeah, that's right. Free says, "I want the ball. I'm open." Schwer was left open. Now he shoots it. Knuckleball is no good. Free off the window and in over Tinnan. North takes the lead. I didn't like that jump shot against his own because that was not in rhythm. Did you see that was kind right, of Right, yeah, he was play? waiting for it. Tinnan's yeah. shot in. See, he's back in the game, and right away he makes his presence known. But down when they got it down low to uh, Free, he had to lay back because he didn't want to pick up his fifth foul. That's in rhythm. That's a better shot, you bet. Even though it didn't go in, that was a good rhythm. He stepped into that shot. Tinnan with another rebound. I'll tell you, he's been a demon out there. He leads the conference in uh, rebounding by uh, quite a margin. Boyce, layup is no good, but the foul is gonna go on Tom Eirich, I believe it is. East is on top, 68 to 67. 
That's the second foul on uh, Eirik and the seventh team foul. Boyce will be shooting two here. He's one for two at the line so far tonight. Gets the shooter's roll. Still continues to do that deep dip. You didn't like that, huh, Tom? No, that, that allows too much sway in the basketball as you're bringing it up. You know, there's too much room for air there. Mm -hmm. All right, 30-second timeout by North. One of the things, Marty, you always see about great shooters, the really good shooters never miss right or left. They always miss short or long. Uh, you know, guys that are not great shooters, they don't miss all over the place, but the real great shooters, once they get that ball online, there isn't any swinging it back and forth. Uh, there's Dave Simmons. He looks excited about this timeout. <laughs> uh, so in, in, in talking about his free throw shooting, if he brings that ball up from his ankles all the time, that just allows more room for that ball to sway back and forth. And, you know, I don't think you're going to be a great shooter with that much movement. Consolidate your movements. Make it as simple as you can is what you're saying. Keep it on the shot line, we always talk about. Put it in the shot pocket and keep it on the shot line. Well, Boyce made his first free throw, and East is now up 69-67. There's 2.16 remaining in the ball game. East has uh, come to play tonight, that's for sure, and Dennis Tinnen has been a big reason they're in the lead. Number 31. Second half is much lower scoring than the first half. The score was 45-41 at halftime. There's the ball reversal. Well, East ought to, or pardon me, North ought to know how to attack this 1-3-1. They play it, they so play they it, yeah. played against it. Good recovery by Daffinson on uh, Deasing. North doesn't have point. the inside uh, threat that uh, East has with Tinnen in there. Schwer's shot is blocked. Tinnen comes away with another rebound. Well, you'd have to think some college basketball is in his future. Now oh, he's can sit on it a little bit. Brown, shot was blocked, and they're going to call the foul on Eirik, and he's not happy about it. There was a lot of, he had a lot of ball there. I don't know if he had, had him on the arm or not. It looked bad, but I don't know if it really was. I thought he had a lot of ball, too. That's uh, Tom Eirik's third foul. Brown going to the line. Shot is no good. Schwer with the rebound. That was his first trip, Tom. East has missed a couple of free throws in a row here now. Giving North a chance to get back. There's the open shot for Deasing. Over, no good. There's Kellner. Weak side rebound. Kellner's first points of the fourth quarter. We're all tied up at 69. One minute remaining in a ball game. And a whistle, timeout, East. Green Bay East, and it's a full timeout with 59.8 seconds remaining and the, top, uh, the score tied at 69. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Great game. Oh, yeah, it's a Fifty-two, because they had forty-one. They scored the first eleven. So oh, that's right, 52. eleven points, not ten. They had some North High fans whooping it up. Great game down to the last minute, Marty, with a tie score here, sixty-nine, sixty-nine, with fifty-nine left in the game. I was talking to Billy Freeze Dad uh, when I first got to the gym, and uh, we had mentioned something during the North South game about uh, Nolan and Chris Hempsing possibly knowing each other. Uh, Nolan, Chris Hempsing. And uh, oh, he named a couple other kids. They all played on the same team together. They were ranked in the state, you know, for eighth grade teams at that time. And uh, uh, so they know each other real well anyway. But now back to action here. North full court, man to man oh. pressure. Boyce on a bust out and he lays it up and in. Nobody back on defense for North as a safety. And I think East that was called from the bench, Tom. 
They set that up. They got it right to ten, and he looked right down the floor to throw it. Big possession by North here. Got to get a good shot. 35 seconds remaining. Yeah. North down two. Inside, oh. off the foot. No, they're going to say it's off of Green Bay oh, East. Goodness. Boy, that looked like it went right off of Irick's foot, but no. I think we might have got a break on that one. I'd like to see that one on the replay. Irick had a smile on his face, but the North didn't look good running the oh, offense at no. times. It's a good time out here. Uh, they need to get a good shot here. Just because you're down two, you don't want to cast up uh, the first thing that uh, that you see. you got to get a good shot here. Hey, Tom, you know, I know the defense is different. That's part of the reason why they're not getting in into the high post like they did uh, earlier in the second half. But uh, you still should be able to get it in the high post against that 1-3-1, one, one, don't you think? I, what you have to do is make a little dribble penetration on the wings to bring the wings to you, and then you kick it to the high post. And that, you know, you got to bring that defense and, and set it up a little that's bit. right you can't just let that defense stay back in the passing lanes that's what Keller does so well for North stays back in that passing lane preventing that ball reversal well I think uh, Eddie Boyce in that role has done uh, pretty well even he though doesn't have that size but no. he's got quickness right all right Huerta in the ball game Jordan in for North Kellner off the doubles. a man to man Free open from outside, bango, North on top. 72-71, 15 seconds remaining. Daffinson going baseline, shot is blocked. Huerta down the lane, in, Six five. Seconds. Time, Time out. out. North. They might want to recheck the clock. I don't know if they can. Re well, if the official maybe, if the official looked at the clock when he called the timeout, I think they'll add some time here. Oh boy! Because the timeout definitely was called. When I looked up, the there was like 5.8 seconds remaining, or 5.4, somewhere in that neighborhood. It'll be interesting to see what they put on here. I don't think they're going to put anything on. Well, the official was talking to the timer now. 4.6, Marty. I don't okay. know how they came up with 4.6, but. <laughs> Well, but it's it's better than 3.8. 3 3 that's right. Well, I remember being in situations like this, and I stress to my kids on defense anyway: try to make them catch the ball coming to the ball, not where they catch it. You know, going away towards the basket. Well, or forcing them toward you know going away from from their back, going toward right. the other basket. Yeah, because then by the time you get turned around, that takes you a second at least. That's what I meant. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Marty. Well, we what a great game, and it's going to come down to the last shot. Uh, 4.6 seconds left here, North with the ball. Now, let us they've got to go the length of the court here, Marty, because they got the timeout right after the basket. So uh, They should be able to run the baseline also, and they're going to put oh, Tinnan on the Oh, yeah, they can run the, the baseline. Yeah, they'll put and have him jump in and try to make that, and we've got Kellner inbounding it, so we've got a, some good size there, too. Uh, I think what will happen is they'll get it inbounds and get it right back to him. I think Coach Destel is going to call another timeout. He wanted to see how how East was going to set up, and that's what he's doing. He wanted to take a look at the defense. Now you know what they're going to do or what they were going to do that time. If you're East, do you switch around, do something You might. Different? I mean, this is a chess game, so the East knows what North has set up, or at least what North set up that time. They might want to do something different. Maybe this time they'll take uh, Tinnan off of the ball, although I think they'll still have him guarding the inbounder. It's a 30-second timeout, so obviously we're going to stay here. We'd stay here even if it was a two-minute commercial. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes the offense has some advantage here because defense is so afraid they don't want to foul that they play pretty passive, and you can get a good look. East only has four fouls, though. It might not be a bad move to That's foul right, right away. That's right. Especially in the back court. They might, if they can get north to chew up a second or two and then take a foul. Right, yeah. It's Makes not it an even act more difficult. Shooting, you bet. East has Tinnen, Daffinson, Boyce, Schumacher. And Huerta in the ball game. North has Free, Eirich, Schwer, Diesing, and Kellner. Lots of good shooters on the court for North. He should fall right there. At the buzzer, it's going to be no good. And East comes away with a victory in what was a very entertaining basketball game. 73 to 72, East over North. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, uh, 
Tom Grams and I will wrap up tonight's ball game. Again. You were always sick too. Not like him. You don't remember. He keeps getting infections. He takes after you. If your child is repeatedly sick, it may be PI, primary immunodeficiency disease, a defect of the immune system. The only way to know is by testing. Mom, this isn't normal. It's normal. It's not normal. Talk to us about PI. We've all solved problems in creative ways. But the quick fix isn't always the best, especially when it comes to your health. Crooked teeth or misaligned jaws could be signs of orthodontic trouble. Quick cosmetic fixes rather than orthodontic treatment may not be the best solution. Teeth that work better look better. And orthodontists improve the look of the model by improving tooth alignment and function. Appearance is important, but it's not everything. For a healthy smile, visit an orthodontist. Low fat cheese sandwiches on whole wheat bread. Chewy and good for you. Snacks high in calcium help build strong bones. And foods rich in fiber are good for your heart. So you have the power to dominate. Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where uh, Green Bay East has come away with a 73-72 victory. And uh, Tom, a lot of strategy going on the last uh, 4.6 seconds of the ball game. Talk a little bit about that and what uh, your thoughts are. Well, you know, North got that timeout right after uh, East scored to take the one-point lead. And North could run the baseline and East put their biggest player on TJ Kellner who was inbounding the ball to try to obstruct his vision. But North got the ball in relatively easily. Uh, was able to get the ball down the sideline, but I forget who caught the ball on there. He slipped a Tim little Schwer. bit. Tim Schwer slipped a little bit, seemed to knock the rhythm off a little bit. They did get, you know, a shot by Deasing at the end, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't his best rhythm no. shot, and so it uh, didn't work out well at the end for the Raiders. Well, Green Bay East definitely played an outstanding ball game, and you had mentioned it right away. North ran off that 11 points to start the second half and had, I believe, what was the largest lead of the game at seven, but uh, East able to re uh, rebound from that. Well, Tinnen was, was a man out there tonight. I think, uh, you know, if you had to give a player of the game for East, it would have to be Tinnen. I mean, not only did he score, but he, he controlled the, the paint area. He dominated rebounding. He was an intimidating presence in there. Some of those shots maybe that Irick missed inside that looked like pretty good looks. Yeah. You know, he might be looking over his shoulder for Tinnen because he could really get up there. So he was definitely, in my mind, the difference in the game. Well, Tinnen ended up with 26 points, and uh, he was the high scorer for uh, Green Bay East. Also chipping in with uh, substantial points was Miguel Huerta off the bench. He had 13. Uh, Eddie Boyce had 12 points all in the second half, had a couple three-pointers in that uh, run to come back from the north high run. And uh, Jim Daffinson had 10 points, all of them coming in the first half, surprisingly. He didn't... Uh, uh, didn't didn't seem to step forward in the well, second half like he did in the first remember, half. If you remember, you know, in the first half, Boyce was out, and then Davidson kind of took over and was the quarterback. In the second half, with Boyce in there, Davidson's role changed a little bit. But he's a good player. Yeah. For North, they were led by uh, T.J. Kellner. He had 26 points. He had 21 at halftime, so East uh, stepped up the defense on him a little bit. Chipping in with 12 was Nolan Free off the bench. And uh, with 10, Tim Schwer had that. And uh, Tim, Tom, Tom Eirich had eight points. He didn't have anything. Pardon me, he had two in the first quarter, two in the third quarter. Did not score in the fourth quarter, but he, like you mentioned, he had some good looks, just couldn't get the ball to go in the basket. With that, that's going to be our broadcast tonight. Our next ball game we mentioned is going to be next Friday when Green Bay Preble uh, visits uh, Cheboygan North again. For the crew, Eric Wiesman behind that uh, camera. Down on the floor is Brian Andrews. Kerry Coutts are out in the truck for my partner, Tom Grams. Tom, again, thanks for stopping in. Well, and thanks for out. Ha having me, Marty. I enjoyed it. Great uh, game. Yeah, it certainly was. And I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.